Good evening all and welcome back to 7 Days to Die or good whatever time of day it is for you. Uh, so, the reason I'm out in the middle of nowhere hitting trees rather than back at the house where I left last episode is because I just screwed up the beginning of the recording. Uh, started talking, got the audio, but not got the video. So, had to start again. So, ironically, during that time I was talking about how I actually looked through some of the footage and it had all gone really well. So, well, I don't think I actually said really well. I think I said it was there. So, but this time it wasn't there. So we've had to start again. And it was all going so much better in my first take because there weren't zombies everywhere. Now there's zombies everywhere, and I have noticed that my thing is about to die. So time to take another chunk out of the quality of this thing. Anyway, so apologies. I'm mid ramble, so I'll go back to the beginning. So yeah, so I had a look at the footage and. I've noticed that a couple of things. One, uh, it's alright. The software I'm using seems to to work reasonably well. I don't know why I did that. I don't need that to put that in there to do that. Yeah, it works really well. The sound um, is not too bad, apart from my annoying voice on it. But you know, that's, unfortunately, I can't really do that much about that. Um, and it all stitched together pretty well. And I don't think they were too bad episodes to start off with. Um, first try of recording, so didn't get much done. But then again, it's sort of harder than you think maybe to sort of talk and achieve at the same time. So, But no, all together, not too bad. Um, so here we find ourselves, it's day five. It's a little later in the morning than planned. And the basic plan is to actually do what I've been talking about for the last five days, which is actually start getting ready for day seven. So gathering up wood, making wood spikes, and basically I'm going to cram the downstairs for the wood spikes I think and we're going to see I've already got it there just about like magic magic of editing and we're going to surround the base with it and I'm not going to build like a house on top you know as we discovered there was certain structural issues with that idea so ooh, skills yeah again need to actually do something about that uh, yeah, sometimes you find blueprints in there, but not today. So, yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna build a, a house on top of the house. Uh, I'd like to do that, but I just see lots of getting stuck between floors happening if I try that. So, but I think I'm gonna build some kind of like tower or something that comes off the sort of top of the house. You know, kind of where I've got my ladder up to the roof now, because I think if I've got that with an overhang and I kind of block the stairs. I think that's going to at least keep me safe up there. The zombies shouldn't be able to get to me unless they collapse the whole house. And it'll give me a bit of a bolt hole to disappear into. So that's the plan. So we're not going to go too far. I'm just going to grab as much wood as I can from this area. Yup. Hmm. Looks like a bit quieter over this area, so if you grab all of these. Ooh. Yeah, it's just got a hard on for me. Oh no, no, oh no, fine. Maybe he doesn't love me. I guess that's a different bear down there than the one that's stalking me at the house. At least I hope it is, because Otherwise it's followed me out here and that's terrifying. So we're going to gather wood till the airdrop comes, that's that's the plan. We're going to run around gathering wood, grab the airdrop, head back, build, reinforce. Um, I know it's sort of day seven is my main concern, but I, I think the dogs on day six still come. Could be wrong. Guess we'll find out one way or another. And well, that was an aggressive tree fall. And I don't really want to be out sort of around when the dogs turn up because as I still have no coffee or beer, despite making a promise, I would prioritise that. Uh, yeah, so I can't outrun dogs. It's the basic long and short of it. And if I want to right now, I'd certainly not be able to. God, I am struggling on food and water as well. Look at that, i got 10% water left. Ooh, don't get glitched. Right, so we're gonna 
wander our way back down to that pond and grab some more water. We have four glass barrels, barrels, jars. More like a jar than a barrel. Mm -hmm. We got arrows. We no, we don't have arrows. Bin bag. This is the home of the famous water zombies. Oh, yeah. Yup. I just want your water. Go back to bathing or whatever it is you do. Yep. Right. Let's see if we can grab these trees now that the uh, zombies have moved on. I'm really hoping for a gun in the airdrop today. If I have a gun, then here we go, airdrop time. I can probably do things to sort of minimise the zombies that are becoming the most problem, or problematic one. But if I don't have one, I'm literally just going to have to sit in a tower and wait and pray that what I've designed is capable of beating the pathing of the zombies. And by design, I mean ramming random blocks down. I can keep going from my inventory on the vain hope that I might have some water hidden in there, but I suppose I could drink the murky water. I'm going to need to do something before I go for that airdrop. Eh, maybe I can make it. I know if I go into the house, it's going to be a third day of running around aimlessly looking for the airdrop. And something tells me that my luck isn't going to hold out for a third day of stumbling across it once my stupidity takes over. Did I search this? Yeah. Oh my god, so slow. Come on. Look at that, I'm on 102 wellness. Before for a second have I lost wellness or something, but no. Nope. I mean, positive. I've actually got better off health-wise since the zombie apocalypse started. Or at least since I found myself inexplicably standing naked in a field after the world has ended. And I apparently have no memory of how I got to this point. Including not really knowing what I did for a living beforehand, because I seem to be a very fast learner, but not capable of actually doing or making anything what are you doing hiding here piggy uh unless i find a book or instructions for it so hmm i wonder what i did for a living just for me make some space try and scrap a few things oh these are uh, do they no that's cool they actually disappear out of my inventory and kind of create a few more spaces. Ooh, part number two for the AK. Well, my record for AK parts has been smashed. Right, arrows. Make a few arrows, get some more wood, head back to the house. I need to keep reminding myself of what the uh, what the actual plan for the day is, otherwise I'm just going to end up meandering around again and get to the night and nothing's happening. I also have a m bit of a nemesis to overcome in terms of the stairs. I would be significantly more... What are you doing? The least observant zombie ever. Let's see if we can smack him. We can. Well, I got his attention. Now he wants all kinds of time with me. Nothing. What happened to all the early game zombies? Are full of ammo. 
Oh, cop zombies. That's why I go to the city as well. So did you get to a point where you can actually start killing cop zombies in a relatively safe manner? You know, you can start racking up ammo pretty fast. And hunting rifles are good for that. Just headshots, take them down. As long as it's a half decent one, one shot will take them down. I find all kinds of goodies. End up with normally loads of crappy shotguns and pistols that endlessly break down for parts. Miscellaneous crafting is 25. Skills tonight, skills tonight. I'm sure I've got skill points saved up that I can improve my chances. Maybe I could push up the scavenger. Scavenger skill and then open up that safe. I'm a little bit conscious that my axe is not great and I haven't found anything else. I know I've not been exactly doing the loot searching route at the moment, but can I have had a stumble across a weapon by now? If not a weapon, then maybe a fire axe, iron pickaxe, any of these things. I think I'm just not being adventurous enough. Ah, I think it's because I'm crafting loads of those things that my crafting skills going up. That would make sense. Yeah, I hear you back there. We'll get to you. Oh, no, you're going to get to me. Oop. At least I can still like, walk them, even if I can't run. Oh, bloody hell, 0% water again. Let's go deal with that. Careful of this glitchy area. Yeah. Don't fall into the world. I have to deal with this person because they're going to be a problem later. You got a friend. Ah, no, 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 no. Seriously, I'm slow enough. I don't need to be stunned. Uh, I wonder if I... Ooh. Somebody's moaning. Right. Can we... Can we deal with this? please yes and you oh oh no oh my god I thought that was a oh that's a fat guy no okay goodbye yeah thank you we I don't Need your attention right now. We're busy enough. Oop. Did you stay down there? You can come bash around inside if you really want to. Oh, is it still burning? Oh yeah, I did put millions of tons of wood on. Ooh, meat. I got some meat. Quick. Uh, water, water, water. Somewhere here, I have more water bottles. Yes. Do. Oop. We're gonna go naked because we seem to be overheating all the time anyway, so Ooh, I got my candles. I'll deal with those later. Oh yeah, I needed a hide for my forge, didn't I? I should remember that. Right. I'm gonna eat this now because we're already Oh no shit we can go oh no, I didn't know we could go into minus, that's probably that's probably not good for me. Mm, two more. Say, so I knew they were in here somewhere. What's going on now? We got time to deal with these people? We have got time. I'm gonna put the bridge back so that it's nice and safe for us. Drop that onto the car. We got anywhere near Ooh, two seconds. Boop. Oh, 
Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button then and it didn't move. Huh. I just want to make some arrows, leave me alone. This is one, it's not a big guy, but he's got big arms. Die while you're on the floor. There we go. Not quite at the point yet of having to eat rotten flesh, but another couple of days maybe. Ooh. Oh, that killed him. Cool. Oh, no. Kind of wishes that this bow had less durability because I really should probably make another one. Whoa. What's that? Who's making all those noises? Yeah, I probably should make another bow because it's only a level one. I've had it since the beginning. It's special. Maybe I'll go and put it in a chest somewhere. And then when I die, the next survivor along the line can come pick it up. Right, 7.30. Let's get some spikes down before it gets dark. So, start inside or out? No, we can start outside. Oh yeah, we need to upgrade. <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh no. I have died putting these down before. I, if you, it kind of glitches sometimes. If it's particularly if it's, ooh, see like that. If there's stuff there, and it kind of then puts it in the space you're stood in, and yeah, that would certainly be an auspicious end to this this recording video thing, whatever it's called. <gasps> there's a deer in the garden. Kill it. What? Okay, so the fence isn't deer proof. Certainly not deer proof. Right. Ooh, we need to get rid of that. I really should probably just go around and clear the, clear the edges first, but see, got hurt then. But screw that. Oh, where have I got all these smells? Hmm. Do I get water from this? I do not. It doesn't hurt my water. I think the charred meat hurts my water. I forgot we had... I'm like worrying about where am I going to get water from? I need to get fill up these jars and have a freaking swimming pool in the back garden. Probably full of rotten zombie flesh, but... Right, it's ten to nine. Let's not get cocky and forget about the time. these so we can do this Ooh. um there is a way out of here yeah generally oh yeah didn't say generally swimming pools have ways out they made a door well right, and given that it's day f almost going to be day six very soon i'm kind of I'm not sure i can afford to sort of just stand around all night i don't know if i should be Filling in the downstairs a bit. I have quite a lot of blocks, so I could do some more work filling in the downstairs. I cannot get to upstairs now. We could block ourselves in another room. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, we're gonna we're gonna go inside in a minute and start sealing up the downstairs a bit. Check that about a million times. So I'm not sure. Ooh. Oh. Right, I know I just created a problem for me in the morning, but we'll deal with that in the morning because there's still plenty of ways out of here. I really didn't. <laughs> it's just like the job of actually doing anything here. I just put the blocks down and meandered off to some other topic, no doubt. Crouching will protect me. Unless I wonder over things like that. Oh, 
Poof. Didn't get anything from them. Not sure what I'd want. Blind bits, maybe? Probably wouldn't have much use. Ooh. Ah, I put the candles away, didn't I? Dump a fireplace. I actually think that made it more creepy. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. Um, oh, wait, wait. Oh, damn it, for now. I assume that's what's happened to the uh, my head torch. Gonna stay in here. Snuggle up with the corpse. Empty, empty corpse. Okay, well, I guess it's night time. That was a uh, quick blast through day five. It'll be a little bit shorter because I did start in the morning rather than starting at night. So, but I'm gonna leave it there, and we're gonna pick up the next episode for a day six, which could involve dog murder. Well, me being murdered by dogs, not the other way around. That would just be weird. Um, so yeah, I hope you uh, can stop by and join me for the next episode. And I'll see you then.